Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. How can you find more sheds in the spring? Well, there's a few basic steps to start with. First, find the food. That time of year that the deer shed, they're completely driven by food, and that's where they're gonna spend a lot of time. Secondly, find their bedding area. During those winter months, those deer are gonna be traveling almost exclusively from bedding to feeding and then back. And the third spot is in between, those trails leading from their bedding to their feeding areas. But be careful not to do harm to deer. Often underestimated is the added pressure that early shed hunting can put on those deer. And it's pressure at a time of the year when they are most vulnerable. Believe it or not, in harsh conditions when the deer are run down, jumping a deer on foot or worse, a snowmobile or an ATV, and having him run maybe half a mile or more to another safe place can add enough stress, energy use, and concern for that deer to end up as a winter kill statistic. For that reason, in harsher conditions or early in the shed hunting season, we choose to focus our shed hunting efforts in those feeding areas, leaving the deer and their bedding areas untouched. Those sheds will still be there later in the spring when conditions are better and the deer are less stressed. So how does this all tie into scouting? Well, I think the biggest benefit is not the sheds at all, rather the time spent in the deer woods that you hunt, learning the trails, learning the property, better than you would in the fall while you're on stand. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants.